Hello everyone out there in the VC Vinyl community. It's Lunacy here doing my first ever video for my vinyl updates. I've uh, been inspired to do this by watching all the great videos out there. Been really liking what I see out there. Great videos, great stuff shown. Uh, to all those people I've subscribed to and the people that I watch, LJ, awesome stuff. Love your videos, man. Keep them up. Mr. Hall of Fame, Dan from Canada. Yeah. Pudsey, the teacher, good stuff out there, the teacher, loving it. Um, got me inspired to do my own a little bit. So forgive me if this goes a little long, or if I mess up on the video a little bit, but it's the first time out there, so hopefully they get better. Uh, first things first, playing in the background, Dinosaur Jr., farm. Good stuff. Eight fold. Hopefully you can see a little bit. Sorry about the video quality right now, but we work with what we got. So most of my stuff that I find, I find out there on uh, local shops around my area. I like that. I like the hunt of finding these videos. Uh, I really like it. But occasionally you got to go to eBay. you got to go to, you know, the internet to find your stuff. It's okay. I just, the whole part of this whole co this whole music collection thing is, you know, for me, is the hunt to go out there and find the stuff that I've really been looking for. It feels good. I get excited when I find the stuff that I've been really wanting. Hopefully everybody else has the same feeling about that. So, let's get right into it. I have a few to show here. Switching gears from Dinosaur Jr. to Twisted Sister. Stay hungry. If you're a product of the 80s, maybe early 90s, you're going to like this. That classic hair metal, hair, rock, whatever you want to call it. This one's a reissue. Pink vinyl. Interesting choice, but D. Snyder is a character. This one also came with like a 30-inch poster of the band or whatever. Pretty cool. Little add-on. Not bad. Completely different sound coming at you. Santana, Inner Secrets. Found it at a local shop for like $4. I have got to tell you, I really, really like this album. I, I played it, spun it like three times in a row. Just, just loved it. Wasn't really familiar with Santana all that much. You know, his, his mainstream stuff I've obviously heard, but this album was fantastic, especially for the price. Couldn't beat it. I liked it so much, I went out and found its original Santana. First one. Very good stuff. Gotta say, I like the Inner Secrets better, to be honest with you. But this was very good. That classic Santana rock guitar is pretty much unbeatable. Alright, next one. LJ is to blame for this. Thanks a lot, LJ, for my massive addiction now. Uriah Heap. Firefly. Didn't even really know they existed. Surprisingly, a little embarrassed to say that. But, have to be honest. LJ played one, showed one in his video, a couple of them said I better check them out. If he likes them, I'll probably like them. Sure enough, I do. Love it. Good stuff. Found it. Local shop also. This one... <clears throat> got it for a buck. It was in the dollar bin at my local shop. Sticks. Paradise Theater. Really, really... <laughs> actually really good. Decent condition. Had a little wear. It's kind of hard to see. Had a little wear up here in the top. Fold there, but... I can live with it. The, the vinyl itself was in pretty darn good condition. Just needed to be cleaned a little bit. Surprisingly enough, the back was had like a not really an etching, but like an imprint. It played, but it has like a sticks imprint inside the vinyl. Interesting, but very very good. Jay Mascus, I saw this actually on Dan's video. It's same from Dinosaur Junior. Singer from Dinosaur Junior. And this is great. Several Shades of Y is the name of it. It is fantastic. Easy listening kind of stuff. You know, kind of just chilled out, laid back, more acoustic-y style stuff. Really good. Loved it. I recommend picking it up. I really do. It's, it's very, very good. Can't believe I didn't have it, but I didn't. Springsteen. Yeah, I know. Everybody knows it. Everybody's seen it. Born in the USA, of course. Great stuff. Found it used. Uh, the shop I go to most of the time, their used stuff is just 
almost all of it's near mint. I mean, it's just great. They don't take anything that's not really good. So, very happy to get that. LJ, dang it, man. Dang you. YMT. Saw you show on YMT. I think I have it in here, the one that you actually showed. Found this at shop for, I don't know, like $2, I think. I got to tell you, I got a five-year-old son who just <laughs> won't stop playing. He wants me to play this constantly. It's it's, it's even good to a five-year-old. Really like it. Classic style, you know, that 80s rock, man. It is great. Thanks again, LJ. Another Y&T. Oh, sorry. That one was called Mean Street. Mean Street. Great, great stuff. In Rock We Trust, YMT. I think this is the one LJ showed. Good stuff. Went out, had to find it. Been looking for everything YMT now. Have another one coming, I believe. Uh, in the mail. Excellent, excellent 80s rock. If you like 80s rock at all, you will love it. I might have mentioned earlier, I'm kind of a product of the 90s, so I like that uh, 90s rock, 90s grunge, I don't know, hard rock, heavy metal, totally changing gears here, Pantera, Far Beyond Driven. And this is a different cover. This cover, if anybody's ever had the CD, this was the cover on the CD. But for the vinyl, it's totally different. And I will tell you, it is thick, thick, 180 gram, great sound quality, good stuff. If you like hard rock heavy metal, Pantera's the way to go, obviously. Now, something that I've been looking for forever. Pretty darn expensive to find, pretty rare to find. Went into my local shop, asked if they had it, said, nah, but if it comes in, I'll keep you in mind. Well, he did, and I came in, and... Some of you might not be excited about this, as excited as I was, but that would jump through the ceiling when I saw this. I came back in the next week or so, and he said, hey, it's kind of a weird thing in the vinyl community where you talk about a record, and then a week later it shows up. And sure enough, it did. And if, if anybody's ever looked for it on vinyl, it is hard to find. That 90s, early 90s era where they didn't produce a lot of vinyl. Soundgarden Super Unknown. A lot of fond memories about this album for me. And I gotta tell you, fantastic. It was still sealed, original pressing, on blue. Really nice blue vinyl. Sounds amazing. I uh, I got so excited that somebody else, some stranger in the record store, had to come over and see what I was talking about because I was so excited about getting it. Not cheap, but to me, worth every penny. So that's just a little bit of stuff I got. I'm going to try to keep the videos coming as often as I get stuff. Uh, hopefully this didn't drag on too long and wasn't too unbearable to watch. Uh, I'm going to probably do either a thread video or what I really want to do is I want to show a video of the stuff that I'm using to listen to music, as in all your equipment. don't really see it out there and it kind of goes hand in hand. I, I like to listen to music at the highest possible quality, obviously that's why I'm listening to vinyl. And I want to kind of show what I've got and what I'm listening to it through and things like that. And hopefully people can give me some advice on new things or something, something that I haven't heard of. So until then, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you next time.